This is Mast, and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing Al Kwong in the A to Z. Hopefully we have a game, because I've had three straight rage quits and F6 is at fives, which is kind of wild. So, <laughs> dude, I might be done with Smite for the day if I get four. Oh my god. It's so bad right now. It's funny, too, because I started off the day with some pretty good games. And then, uh, holy shit, it went bad so fast. I can't remember the last time it's been this scuffed. So hopefully it's not scuffed. Maybe, maybe it's it's over, finally, because, because, oh my god. So, Al Kwong, not super popular right now, it doesn't get a ton of playtime. The main reason being, he's kind of just bad, for the most part, at the... He's feeling it. Yeah, he's kind of bad at the moment, he feels pretty awkward. Hang on, we should get a pretty big level 2 diff in a sec. Unless they run away, which they're doing, so it doesn't matter. Do a little bit. Do a little baby bit, then we dip. Yeah. That's too bad. If we got a tiny bit, like Zeus got really good clear, then the front creeps didn't quite die. If the front creeps died, we actually maybe could have just dumpstered right there, because I think our blink would have been up. And then, um, if we got to do a little blink into 2-3, we actually probably could have burst the shit out of either Horus or Tiamat, one or the other. So let me peek. We're not close to 5 or anything. Who's got beads? Kakolin actually, he actually did it. Given he might have known he was against either a Fenner or a Geb and just wanted it for that. Hang on, we actually might get a gank here. Can I get sneaky on him? Okay, there's actually a Horus here, all right. <laughs> Huge use of Blink. Did not expect the Horus, man, that sucks. We get Totem at least, it's something. Yeah, I thought uh, if we got him alone, I probably could have anyways. I thought if we got him alone, we could maybe stick to him with the slow and actually burst him there. Which is the only reason I committed it all. But there's just a jungler. Which I should have been ready for, man. Junglers are so consistently playing that way right now. Okay, this should be good with Zeus. I mostly just want to secure the camp, though. Yeah, we just get all these. Nice. Yeah, so who's got beads? Horus. No, Dawn's went Aegis. That's going to be a mistake. Yeah, so it's legit Kukulin and uh, Tiamat, right? Pretty sure. Okay, we actually have to be a little bit careful. I'm mostly just going to let Zeus keep auto-clearing. And then and then we do a little of this and he's dead as hell. No, be dead as hell. Come on. Yeah, he got way too greedy there. I'm not really sure. I don't know why you tried to force that, because I am Al Kwong. If, if you just, you know, when you do the Horus thing and it's not on me and I just get a blow the... Okay, I can't... <laughs> I can't say what I was going to say. I, I did not process how it was going to come out. Oh, my God. Never mind. Moving on. Temporary mid Al Kwong. I don't think we get a killer ever. I'm not really trying too much. I'm kind of trying to just bait her stupid three. Oh! Uh, eh. Oh my god, it's so close, man. Tell me I'm not dead to this. I think I'm dead. I try to reach the last... Oh, oh yeah, actually, wow. Wiggle mode engaged. Yeah. I'd back in place too, Horus. What's up? Don't do it. It actually sucks that she doesn't die there, man. Our stupid potato autos. That sucks. I don't even know. I think it probably was actually straight up impossible to kill her there because he played it pretty well. Probably just not much to do. All right, should we go to a red buff real quick? So as far as the kit is concerned, Al Kwong has um, a pretty unique kit in Smite. He's basically a magical assassin, and he's got a very different feel to normal assassins, I'd say. He's very, very focused on kind of a fighting game style where you need to outplay through mostly your one, basically. You need to make some pretty aggressive plays and hope it'll work out. Um, the issue that Al Kwong has is he's very low CC assigned from his ultimate. Um, well, he basically, he mostly just doesn't have CC, aside from his ult. If you throw the two, it slows. That's literally it. So, you don't have a lot of control over fights, and that leaves him really vulnerable, because you have to commit pretty hard to fights. So much of your damage comes off your two, um, and most importantly, autoing with your two, because you can throw it, but the throw does way less damage. Like, you can literally just see the numbers, it's way lower, right? So, really big boost out of auto attacking with it. Um, but it takes a lot of commitment for it, and so he has a lot of issues with that. And normally in the past, when he's stronger, Either his three has done more damage or rings have been better. And right now his three does like no damage and rings are bad. So he, he really doesn't get to do too much with his ideal build, which is why we're going to end up building very mage um, and going for a more kind of balanced all around type build. Okay, we actually might get a forces. I don't think Kukulin's here. I lied. He is here. Start dying. Hang on. Someday. Oh, we didn't get the one off. That sucks. 
I guess his beads is probably up and it's stupid, huh? Yeah, yeah. I really did try and force it and just forgot he had beads. That's too bad. I should have gone on Horus, but even then we should have just probably not fought. I don't think we could have killed. It's okay, maybe Geb gets to murder him now that beads are down. I don't know, does he? What's he building? You building boring? Can't even tell what he's building yet. Yeah, we got too greedy, man. I'm so used to solos like never go beads. So I literally looked and checked and then I just forgot. That's not good. Yeah. And if we if we didn't have uh if Horus was alone, we get to kill Horus. If Horus wasn't alone and Cuckoo had no beads, we get to kill Cuckoo. But they really have that wombo combo. We just don't get to kill either there, which kind of sucks. I'm assuming Kukolin, if he, if he had ult, could also use that, but I don't think he had ult since he literally just killed Geb. So we'll try and farm up real quick. We want to go Doom Orb, which will be really nice once we actually have it finished because you get a lot of move speed, you get a lot of power, uh, and you get MP5, so we don't run Oom so easily in the jungle because otherwise I'd probably just rush like Bancrofts, um, something like that. Maybe not. Maybe it'd still be worth going Doom Orb anyways, but the big thing is MP5 matters so much on Al Kuang. We're constantly using our 3 2 one and that all combined is like 200 mana, and then our 3 has a low-ass cooldown, so we're spamming that a lot in general, and it's just kind of tough. It's tough to actually have the mana to do things. So, Doom Orb helps a lot in that regard. We are going to look to go Bancrofts at some point and turn that into a Claw, because he is one of those gods that uses Claw really well. You know, we're a melee range mage, we want to build power. Naturally, that means we get big Claw procs, and we get a Claw... Oh my god, I can't speak. We get a proc on, like, everything. So, yeah, pretty good item for him. Um... And then from there, we'll kind of see. Aside from that, we'll just have to see what we can get away with. And it sucks. It's going to be really weird fighting this Horus because we really want to one through at least one of his CCs. And if we don't get to, then it's a bad time. Like, I think that's what happened last fight, right? Because it got a little messy when we were in the 1v2. Didn't get to, uh, didn't get to counter him with the Alquang one. Oh, did he just get blinked on? Just happened. Probably, I guess. I don't even know. Um, so... As far as Alquang's kit is concerned, passive, basically, whenever you have one of these, um, you have a passive available, you have three of them, it comes up every 10 seconds. Um, normally, the way this works is just, if you have it up, you heal when you use an ability for 5% of your health, and then you get a two-second cooldown reduction, which almost only matters for the three. It matters a little bit for the other abilities, but it stands out way more on the three. See if we actually get to do anything to him. Okay, that should stick to him with the... Okay. <laughs> I really got trolled pretty hard there, man. Are you kidding me, dude? If we get... There we go. Is he dead anyways? You guys got it. There we go. Yeah, we needed him in Execute since he doesn't have the uh, the beads, right? It's kind of crazy he didn't die there. Yeah, I'm super surprised. So the whole strat there was the moment, like, we get a dragon proc the moment he gets out of his three and he doesn't get a run away. And that just didn't happen, and I honestly don't know why. Because we did auto him with a dragon. I guess we just got really unlucky with the timing. Or maybe it just interacts weird. I don't know. Maybe it's the type of ability where you just like straight up need Crusher or Bluestone to proc for two straight seconds because spaghetti code. I don't know. One or the other. Because the dragons from the autos do actually take a little while to land. They're not instant. Like it takes like literally, <laughs> I guess it's a little different because we use the three, but like we use the three, it takes forever to go off right there. It's actually something Alquang struggles with it, but he's somebody where it's really easy. If you're getting those bursty late game trades, you can absolutely just trade with somebody. Where, like, you kill them, but you die, and then the dragons finish them. Will definitely happen sometimes. Alright, we'll keep farming up a little bit for now. So, yeah, passive's really nice for just getting basically a lower cooldown 3 and a little bit of bonus healing. It's kind of a funky passive for him. It's mostly something that stands out in solo lane. And otherwise, it's not something that makes a ton of sense for him as the jungle assassin type gun that he normally gets played as. Um... But he also has really bad scaling on his three, so I think a lot of people tend to underestimate him as a solo laner. Let's see, we don't have our one quite yet. I think it's a good fight. Yeah, that's an execute, nice. I don't know if we get to do much to Kukulin. One thing that's really good in spots like that is, um... Yeah, do we get to do anything to you, man? How did that miss? What? I don't... What? I don't think I missed that. We need a little bit more time. Oh, you went for it, too. That was actually going to be clean as hell. That sucks. Yeah, I didn't think... Uh, shout out to Skipper on the Geb, man. That was a really good shield. I didn't think he'd quite get the angle on me, so I thought we could go a little more aggro there. Um, Yeah, whenever we're looking for ults like that, a lot of the time, because people will play to counter the ult, if you can, if you can get enough predictive um, damage on them, you can ult based off them getting executed. Of just assuming it's going to happen. Do we get to do anything? I can lurk a little bit. I don't really have stuff. All right. 
Ulti. I think I can solo this. It's gonna hurt, but R2 exists. Right? Does it make the does it make the difference? <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting bopped. Barely got it. I'll take it. Yeah, I think we get a farm here. I'm pretty sure I'm not inting. I'm hoping just tell me if they invade, just tell me, and we'll be good. Yeah. It's looking like we should be good. All right, let me go back. We'll work on Bancrofts a little bit. So, yeah, Alquang 1 probably is most important ability for outplaying people. Um, Where's the item? There's the item. Oh, yeah, we might go poly this game. The poly buff is pretty good for Alquang. Um, But his 1 is damage and teleport and stealth. Um, That's all of it. Yeah, <laughs> all in 1. And it's really, really strong, mostly for the damage teleport part. You can use it to juke an ability to move and to deal damage all at the same time, which is really strong if you use it well. Like, we can blink through Horus Dash and hurt him and then get better positioning um, as we start the fight or something like that. There's there's a lot of different potential outplays with it. However, you can also just screw it up and not do it in time and not get the value out of it. And then if it's just if it's just a damage invis uh, or just a damage teleport where you're not juking, then it's not that good, right? Because it's kind of it's lower damage because it does all this other stuff. And you don't get all the value out of it. So it's an ability that's important to use well. Try and think in advance when's going to be a good spot to look for. Um, obviously, ideally, those more predictable abilities, those longer channels that crowd control are normally the really important ones to dodge. Stuff like Achilles 1, Horus Dash, those kind of like abilities that you have at least a little bit of a window to see coming and can try and avoid. Um, R2 is our main source of damage by far. The 3 does all, most of our damage early game and most of our clear early game, but it doesn't scale well, so it falls off really hard as we get deeper. It's already falling off right now, and it's fine if we eat that. Yeah, I, mean, I want to slow him so he can catch up. Emoja ass simply too fat. Okay, do we finally get it? <laughs> do we get to do a little bit someday? I want this execute, man. Okay, they're going to kill her. Wait, they're going to kill... Okay. <laughs> I legit just left her to him because it looked like she was so dead. She's in the Fenrir and everything. I really want to pick the Horus real quick. Eh, no problem. Horus. <laughs> you wanted it so bad, man. All right. Do you guys want to do gold? It looks like maybe they don't. And it might be a little too much forcing it. I don't know. We probably could do it there. Oh, I need one creep for 12. Yeah, we'll just back it up. That's fine. So, yeah, our two is our main source of damage. Um, you guys can already see so far when we throw it, it's not remotely comparable to when we auto with it. There's a really big boost from the actual auto attack dragons, which also do proc on the three, by the way. Whenever you three, you get a little dragon. Um, sometimes it can be bad because if you're using it on a wave, it's going to use one dragon for everything it hits. So that can sometimes troll you a little bit. Hang on, we'll save this for him. Um, so it's easy to use a ton of dragons that you might not want to use. But obviously, if you're just single target attacking somebody either with the three or with the two, then you're only going to get one at a time. And it does slow when you throw it. And it slows for longer, but not for a higher percentage based on how many dragons you have left. So it can be something where a lot of it's very rare. You're going to just straight up get six free autos on somebody unless you just take forever. So a lot of time you might use like three, four or five dragons autoing and then just chuck the rest. And that way you can get a little bit damage that you wouldn't have reached otherwise. And then you get slow to stick to them or to help your allies stick to them, which is really good. See, I guess I didn't really calculate this. I guess we're just going to upgrade this. We also could go nimble. The Nimble Bancrofts, I feel like it's not an item you see too, too often because it's more like a Freya item right now. Um, but I don't think it's worth the claws going to be so disgusting as we get late game. So, yeah, get a little get a little tanky that way. Get those OP shields and we do get a damage boost, too, on our abilities and stuff. So our three absurdly simple ability, um, it does damage in a cone. Hang on. Is this on Insta? No. Really, really skinny cone up front, which is probably how we missed it on Kakolin that one time. It's it also comes out a little bit delayed, so it's an ability that's like deceptively easy to miss. Nice, good juke on him. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm acting like this is our emoji ult, and I just get an auto through it, or I just get a three through it. Get a little damage. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we get a stick. If they're down, we can do pyro pretty easy. I actually might go murder, uh, oh! I was gonna go murder Yamoja, but we're going for this boy instead. Nice. Oh, I guess I thought that used our ult right there. I guess not. Now we do fire. 
Yeah, they're just thirsting for our Zeus, man. Get off of them. Yeah, the three super simple cone damage ability, low cooldown, really bad scaling. I know I've already brought it up, but it's got 40% scaling. Um, when it came out, I think it had... Oh, we probably got to clean this up. When it came out, I think it had like... 90, 80, 70, somewhere around there. Okay, we kind of juked. <laughs> we got a lot of distance at least. That's pretty sick. Um, yeah, it used to have way higher scaling. That's something that high res has for a long time consistently nerfed. And part of why is because it used to proc poly, but it doesn't do that anymore. I can't remember. If it, I think it just basically proc'd a uh, basic attack item. So it would have technically proc'd Telkines. I think when back when it came out, I'm pretty sure Telkines wasn't an item. I don't remember anymore. All right, let's drop some buffs real quick. And then the ultimate. The ultimate's something that actually has a little flexibility to it. It mostly just gets used as an execute, because that makes sense, right? As an execute that you can then reposition with. Um, naturally, it, because it's a crowd control into an execute, you get beads a lot with it. It's something you have to keep in mind. It's not like Thana ult, where it's just like, you know, if you bead your Thana ult and you're an execute, you just get executed, and it's just a waste of your beads. You can just straight up bead through, not get crowd control, which means you don't get executed, and you just need a little bit of damage. Um, if you don't execute with it, it leads into a knockup. You've got some CC immunity on the ability. It, it's kind of a funky one that's got some different uses, but mostly just gets used to execute. Just because that's strong. Or at least to threaten it and get beads off of it. Let's see, do we have anything we can yoink? Probably not. So I think we're going to just go into Polly next. I'm assuming we don't get a murder cuckoo. Yeah, he's just chilling under tower. He's so scared right now. Yeah, normally I would not recommend Polly as much on Ao Kuang, at least not recently, but the, with the, the recent buff to Polly, it's so much easier to proc it that it should actually be a pretty good item on a lot of people that didn't quite want to buy it before, and Ao Kuang is totally one of those. So we're going to try it out. Hopefully we get some value out of it. There's just a lot of fights where you get two Polly procs instead of one Polly proc now. So obviously that's, you know, <laughs> when you just get two times as much, then that's a big deal, right? Makes a pretty big difference. See, I kind of want to lurk around Dawn's right now. We probably don't get to. God, they're so scared right now. Can we just do gold? Everybody is like back at tier twos at the moment. Uh, yeah, the guys in mid are kind of chilling right now. Looks like they might come over now, though. We might not need it. Me and Scotty are going to burn this thing pretty hard. Yeah, are we just chilling? The Calder is kind of broken, man. Obviously, if she's alone, she doesn't do nearly as much, but the fact that she can just tank that shit with Calder, dumb god. I can't believe I'm going to have to play her at some point. Because <laughs> cause surely Mast will continue the A to Z, right, guys? Every video, every video, there's comments. <laughs> Mast, stop baiting us. Just let it die. <laughs> that actually will be funny, man. I, I do genuinely want to finish it, but that's so far away. I, like, I can't remotely promise that I'm actually going to finish it. I do actually want to, though. I have, I will say, like, I've slowed down a little bit because I've wanted to slow down stuff in general with the channel, but also, um, a lot of the, like, current gods have just been, a lot of the A gods, as you get kind of in the middle of the A's, are some of the gods that I want to play the least, so that has slowed me down a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Once we power through that, there's going to be a pretty long phase where, uh, there will be a lot more, because it's gods that I'm a lot more interested in playing, and I'm not like, oh my god, fine, <laughs> fine, I'll do it. All right, do we get a gank or anything? Probably not. Oh, there might be boys, so we're going to chill a little bit. It looks like maybe there's not. She's just dipping. 64 day. Oh, baby. 64. That's that value that we love to see out of the Alquang dragons. All right, let me go back for Polly. You good? I think he's good. All right, so we're probably going to go Demonic next. Um, Demonic, really strong item on Ao Kuang. It's also a ring that mostly doesn't get touched too much. It's not an item that tends to be super nerfed. Right now, it's a little bit down on power. It used to be 90 power. Right now, it's only 75. But you still get a lot of attack speed, and you get a lot of prot tread on a god with a really quick auto attack chain, right? We get one and then half-half. So basically, normally the time it takes to get three autos off, we get in the time it takes to get two autos off, which makes it really easy to shred prots with Polly. Or not with Polly, with Demonic. I think she's just dead as hell. No, come back now. <laughs> oh my god, come here. Thank you. That fight got kind of troll. Do we do it? Of course we do it. Of course we do it. <laughs> Are they actually gone? 
I wanted to invent so that we could blink off of it. I think they just chase Skipper across the map. Well, he actually gets out too. Nice! Somehow worked out, even though it ended up being super potato. I tried to make a clean play with the one, and uh, I'll be there in a sec. Um, yeah, I tried to make a clean play with the one since it looked like Emojo was going to dip through, and then she like undipped instantly, and I just kind of trolled everything. To be fair, we maybe just don't get to do anything about it. Uh, okay, let's, yeah. Let's try and not get bopped by Horus. I don't have beads up or anything. God, we might go Magi's this game. Because so much of what we're afraid of is just getting Horus comboed without having beads. And so Magi's fixes a lot of that, right? Like, they really don't have too many CCs that we're worried about eating um, th that are going to just be wasted. That Magi's not going to do anything against. So I might farm up for that real quick. I feel like I'm hitting hard enough, too. All right, so I think we're, we're good on the kit, right? We've kind of explained everything. I think we're pretty much good. I don't know. I've only died the one time, and the one time was just me picking a bad fight. So <laughs> it was just me picking a fight that I forgot wasn't good. So maybe we'll just go demonic anyways, and we'll go Magi's later if it feels like we do need it. Be a little greedier. Wait for things to go wrong. Uh... Probably just going to turn this. There we go. We should be able to chase this down in just a sec. Get a little slow on the man. I say a little slow. It's kind of a fat slow. Hang on. Do I actually get a blink on you? That was kind of troll. Okay. <laughs> that was a really troll interaction. Um, yeah, I tried to ult him. I also thought Scotty would catch up, and I don't think she bothered, so I guess we shouldn't have forced that. I tried to ult him to cancel his dash and to knock him up there. So so not for execute, actually a spot where you're not looking for it, but it just didn't go off in time. So that was almost kind of bad. I think Bancross Claw probably clutched really hard that fight. I'm assuming we got a lot of... What the... What? Don't, why? Dude, these ADCs are wild, man. Why do I keep having these ADCs that just, like, int? <laughs> Just randomly, like, I don't think he thinks he's inting either. I don't know why he thinks he gets to do this. Yeah, we had that at the end of, uh, of last video. The hell, man. I'm coming, boys. Okay, this should actually end up being okay. Okay, we just have to beads this if he goes for me. Looks like we're good. We can execute her. We can chase Kakolin a little bit with it. I think he just dash, right? Oh, that sucks. He actually got the dash back up already. Yeah, what is his cooldown? I swear I just saw him dash when I went in the air. If it's already up, that's insane. Maybe he didn't. No, he doesn't have full cooldown. I don't know. Yeah, that's too bad. I thought we'd be able to kill him there in time. All right. Well, I've got a billion gold, so we can go spend it somewhere. Do so you definitely want to upgrade jungle starter? Now, should I save any money? Damn, Scott, Scotty's really trying to force the split push. She almost got it, too. Now, I'm trying to figure out if I should be greedy or not. Because if I farm, like, 500 gold, then we can go back for two items. But I also do sort of potato damage now, because I have so much money to spend. So, oh, are we inting for Phoenix? I'm kind of down. Someday? Nice. Yeah, we just got to walk on out. They are going to rotate this really hard, so I think we just dip. We also just, like, can't kill him, so <laughs> there's not really there's not really a point right now. I don't know how we ever stick to him enough to get kills. Okay, let me get a tiny bit more money. We're going to get a fat demonic plus, um... Do not. Don, stop it. There actually might be a Horus, so we're going to chill a tiny bit. Hang on. Hopefully we get a stick. Okay, well, now it's a little bad. Oh no, okay, okay. <laughs> if that was actually him, that would have been so funny if we got a gank him there. That sucks. I thought Horus actually did dip and go right. And we also just didn't do as much damage as I expected. We got Don's Aegis, which is something. I thought we'd hit just a little bit harder, get the ult on him. But not quite. Alright, so we want this. We want this. And yeah, if we had these items done, that fight probably wasn't close. I would have done such a big, such, so, my words today, man, I'm struggling. I would have done so much more damage. Don't worry, 
Which it is kind of easy to forget about sometimes, man. Oh my, oh, the attack speed's so good. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, we did just get like a 50% boost since <laughs> we went from the little bit Eye of the Jungle had to 35% and then an entire demonic. So, yeah. There's a little bit of a swing right now. The two is going to just straight up chunk at the moment. It's going to get off so fast. See if we can clean this up at all. We have no relics, no ult. So this is actually a pretty bad fight. Oh, that sucks. I thought he might go the other way. Okay, we're just going to slow him for the boys. You guys? You guys going to do damage? There we go. Yeah, it took a little bit, man. What are we doing? We inting? I don't think I really get to be here, but it looks like they banked. Don't do it. Yamoja, don't do it. Yeah, so we shred a little bit now. That poor tank. Not seeming like a tank. Nice. Okay, we're going to try and bait a little bit. See if they'll stack, do anything dumb. All right, we're just going to go do solo pyro, I think. Zeus? You good? He got away with it. <laughs> he lazy backed really hard. I was so greedy, man. He almost died from it, too. Yamoja was right there. Man was feeling it. Yeah, one thing that is really nice about Alquang, because we have this crowd control focused execute, um, and because you can go demonic, you're actually really good at shredding tanks one on one. Um, a lot of the time, it's not necessarily worth it. It varies a lot situation to situation, but that's something that you can constantly look for is normally, unless a tank is actually going to go beads purely to knock it out, Kwong executed, they're not going to go beads on support. They might, you know, solo a little more common, like this could call in a little bit more common. A lot of the time, they might not either, but especially support's normally not going to go beads, and you can almost always look for them for an execute. So if we catch them one-on-one, -on -one, can just dumpster them with demonic plus um, auto attacks, and they just take a billion damage, then we execute them. Or if we're just in a fight, naturally the tank's probably going to eat some damage and we can just finish them off, execute, and then reposition off that, which is really strong. Alright, when are we going to go last item? We got Polly, we got Pen. We can go more Pen, we probably don't need it. Um, in some games where it's a little more relevant, Toxic Bleed can be really good because it has a lot of attack speed. And you can get some big anti-heal out of it. Okay, this should be pretty good. Oh my god. Enemy missing! Uh, yeah, I don't think she gets out, but maybe. Horrific did do some work. Let me do it. Let me do it. Oh my god, she actually got out of rage. Okay, I actually should have ulted Horus right there so he could follow up on him better. I should have just gone for the knockup. Please. Eh. Okay, we, we did technically the, get the execute. He just died anyways. Oh, uh, we don't quite get the damage there. I wanted the poly proc on him. Nice. We got kind of lucky there. I think Horus dash clipped onto somebody else. I think we would have lived, but makes it a lot easier to kill him. Someday. There we go. What? What? Okay. No, oh, I wanted to not remotely go where I wanted it to go. That's fine, though. We wouldn't have killed her anyways. Yeah, we're feeling it. Now that we actually have the build online, oh my god, the damage is nasty. Alright. I don't know if we get to push Phoenix since we're all so low. We don't really have minions. Yeah, I think, I think we just push left real quick. Actually, can I? How dumb is this? Because I have Polly. Polly's good. It might have been kind of dumb. It's okay, we get it though. Yeah, in case anyone's confused, by the way, know that the two doesn't proc on tower. I just popped it for Polly. Or, or in case anybody wants to make fun of me, <laughs> be like, "Mass, that doesn't work on towers." All right, tell kind kind of sucks, so we're not going to build that. Um, God, what? What's any good right now? Honestly, honestly, maybe just Soul Reaver. Spear the Magus is okay. I don't think we really need anti-heal. I think we're just going to go Soul Reaver. It's actually kind of a deceptively good item on Alquang because like he doesn't seem all that ability based. But at the same time, you're typically whenever you're killing anybody, you're normally going to land the one, two and the three on them. So those are three Soul Reaver procs right there.
And we don't really need percent pen too much since we have demonic, because normally if we're just like, the damage that we're dealing from just our one and our three on its own, for one thing, doesn't hit that hard to begin with, and then it's just not too relevant. So normally we're just going to care about the prot shred, which is basically 30% pen. If we're really trying to kill somebody. Oh, well, it's going to be an EFG too. And kind of wastes ult. Should just be dead as hell, yeah. Someday, boys. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just going to execute him. That shit was taking way too long. God, they're so split in these fights right now. Okay, now we get FG for free. <laughs> Alright, that's not how I thought that would go. Yeah, see? Anybody sleeping on Bancroft's claw now? I don't even touch her and she's dead. How OP is that? Yeah, these guys are just not grouping at all right now. Sometimes when we like dive to speed buff, they'll group and we just stop. But yeah, for some reason, I don't know, man, they just can't do it. And it hurts them a lot because they have like a super team fight focus comp. Like Horus is very setup focused, so is Kukulin, so is Yamoja. Let's see if we can get here. He's probably just dead as hell anyways, he's super alone. Nice. Yeah, I think uh, this will probably do it. We should have a pretty easy push right now. Horus is dead for a bit. Why, <laughs> why do I have to tank it? What did I do? Oh, I want to one-shot somebody so bad. I don't know how we get to, but I want to do it. Uh, Dons? You okay, he's just shooting it. Shooting into absolutely nothing. Now, I'm down to just blinking in, but I don't want to have to tank Titan. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's just bully the poor support yet again. Wait, stop juking me. Oh my god, that damage. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting what we get to do between Claw and Demonic and Polly. I guess now we have the, uh, the Soul Reaver damage is probably standing out too. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Wait, that's actually dumb, man. He mitigated so much. How much? Wait, how much magic did this man have? A lot. Okay. And I'm sure he had a lot of mitigation at the moment, too, because like Oni's in Spirit Robe. Yeah, he mitigated so much. It was 1400 unmitigated from Soul Reaver on Kakul in there. That's crazy, man. So, yeah, there's our look at Al Kuang. I feel like it was a pretty good look. We got some decent, decent impact out of the pick. We got to do some counterplay. Apparently, we did 42k damage, so that's a bit. And yeah, honestly, games like this where we get to try and abuse the execute on the support are such a good idea of what you want to try and look for with them a lot of the time. It's so, so good. It's just turning that execute and then getting that high up sort of semi-global ult like like Thor or Thana or Rat or somebody like that and just re-engage makes it so hard to deal with them. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.